quick look at this one. So Matthew did this one. He did the um, I was looking April last year, I think. And no no paint since then? No. Well it's really unbelievable when we see this one, how wide, how curved the nail is. Yeah. And how much of a straighter the nail is. Looks no more curved. That's literally the end of the toenail. Yeah. Great. And so I know the game plan when we're able to to do it on that one when it's time. Yes. But for now we're gonna have some good old trimming fun. Trimming fun. <laughs> But you're, you're keeping yourself busy. Yeah. That's amazing. And then when did you find find out about Tobro? Did you, were you just watching the videos once online? Like, how'd you yeah, come? No, I, I subscribed to your channel. Thank you. There's a number of different regulars that I have on my my late night YouTube. You're right up there with the family who's sailing around the world on a catamaran with, with two teenagers, with three teenagers. Cool. That's what they're doing. Yep. That's amazing. Really interesting stuff. Oh yeah. What a different life. And how long have you been watching the, the videos? Oh, for a while, since I myself with my television habit. And is that what made you then come in to have that one done? The ingrown, uh, or what happened? Something like that. I forget which came first, because uh, I think I came to the foot clinic about four years ago when it was still in a smaller place. Yes. You should have records of that. I, I saw your patient number 2000. Yeah. We're at 16,000 now. Right. So you, you saw me before I was Tobro, when I was just Jonathan, just a weird guy in the small little office. Yep, a stone throw of, of Trillium Health Center. That's right. You met the bro before he was a toe. But who's been managing this one for you? Uh, nobody's been managing it. I'm up until I discovered you guys, I was doing it myself. And now that I'm old and full of psoriatic autoimmune arthritis, I'd rather pay you guys to do it. When did you first get diagnosed with that? With the psoriatic arthritis or when? Uh, let's see, Dr. Viet. Toronto Western Hospital, 2008. I noticed I couldn't straighten my arm out, and he went in there and did what they call a synovectomy on my right elbow, and said, your elbow's a mess. You have rheumatoid arthritis. Go see Dr. Glad. And so I've, I actually have, a, after three operations in my arm, I have wow. a piece of titanium stainless steel, including a hinge. Wow. my arm and I can drive a car again. Wow. And and what's, you know, if you don't mind me moving the foot, you can see it is rock, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the thread just locks everything up. But hey, you're moving, you're walking. Um, now in terms of this nail, that's why I was so excited that you let me trim it or film this. We always do a lot of ingrown toenails yeah. uh, surgically, but I do a lot of conservative treatment too and this is what we're gonna do trim down the side yep. get those corners that are poking in the skin out it's gonna give you relief gonna feel much better I know you're really busy right now with work so that's why when we're have a downtime for sure doing the more permanent procedure so this is gonna be the fun one that everyone wants to see how to take care of them nothing should hurt if it's a little sensitive you let me know yep. but the game plan is to make a nice angled cut sorry sorry sensitive okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. Better you than me doing this. Let's see if we can get a good angle this way. I know, we see a little bit of the pus coming out or the corners. So, little by little, we're gonna make a nice angled cut. So that little edge is out of the skin. 
the biggest mistake when people do this is yeah. they don't finish the cut and they yeah. leave a little spike. And so that's what we're going to try to avoid today. And there it is. Yay. Look at that. Awesome. That's a massive spike. So you can see it was cut down, yep. stopped a little too early, and that corner was what's poking into the skin. Now, I'm gonna make a really nice angle cut a little bit more. That was the hard part. That was what was poking right in there. Should yep. be a little bit better now. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. No, you gotta do what you gotta do. But we're gonna make a, an even deeper cut on a better angle. So that way this will last months, months, months with no problem. There we go. So even yeah, yeah. there, so much in the, did you feel that relief there? Oh yes. I'll get some of this dead skin out. Yeah. Old little pus here. Look at that. So a nice deep corner, but this is the magic using my ingrown toenail file. Right, I, I think I have one of those at home, but I stopped using it because it's better, better you than me to do it. And what that tool does, right? Yep. Just to make sure there's no sharp corner. Yep. I can check, I can round it. And even though I do this all the time, there is a corner. A little edge right here, I can feel it. Yep. So I gotta finish that cut. And so that's why it's so important to have that little tool. Yep. You okay there? Yep. Let's see if that was it. That last little piece. And it was. Yay. So very low, I'm rounding the corner so there's no sharp point. We got tons of space. Now this area can kind of heal up and you're gonna have some relief for a while. Band of stitching right there. Yep, yep, that's a killer, the seam. Yep. So, I can already see the little spike that's there. It's gonna be nice and gentle. So. The secret is to cut nice and angled or, and a good, good line of attack. Yep. Look at that one. Uh -huh. We got her. So you can see huge corner right there. Again, there's no wound, so it's definitely not as bad as the other one. Yep. I'm gonna straighten up that cut just a bit. But it's amazing when you see the side that you had the surgery on, how different the width of the nail is, right? Yes. Well, I think this one's looking pretty good with that better line. This one wasn't bad, right? That wasn't, that wasn't so bad. No. Okay. Let me just take a little look. So cut all the way to the end. Yeah. There's no piece left behind. Nice and smooth. We are good. Now, are you able to put an antibiotic cream on this one? Uh, I'm or is it a little bit hard to reach this one? I'm able to do it. Okay. Do you have some of this from the procedure still, or do you need a new prescription? Uh, I guess I need a new prescription. Okay, we can get you that. So the game plan is just to use an antibiotic cream for the next, I'd say, five to seven days, just to yep. prevent any sort of infection. Yep. We're gonna put a little bandage on there. You're okay with bandages, not allergic or irritant? 
Yep. Won't irritate the skin? As long as I get my shoes on over it. Yep, you're gonna be fine. Again, it wasn't really gushing, it wasn't bleeding, it was just the nail was literally stuck in the skin. Yeah. Feels much better? Much better. How was that? I'm eternally grateful for your service. <laughs>